Greetings children. This is an extra class to find out the learning outcomes and personalization of the story, the lost spring. This is for class 12 CBC students. First, let us check the literary quality of the lesson, lost spring. As we know that this is a realistic story. It speaks about factual events and situations of misery. That factual events and situations of misery almost transform into poetic prose. So many poetic devices and is jung used in the story like uh, hyperbole, contrast, paradox, metaphor, so many poetic devices or literary devices used in the prose. So that gave this story a poetic prose. That is the literary significance of the story Lost Spring. When the writer says that garbage is gold, it is a hyperbolic expression. Like that so many contrastive situations the writer used in it. Look at one example here. The beauty of the glass bangles of Rosabad contrasts with the misery of people who produce them. Like this, the paradoxical situations of life the writer brought out through this description. The beautiful, the seven colors of the rainbows are produced or reflected in the bangles. But the people who make these bangles, they don't have any color in their eyes or life. So that paradoxical situation of life, the writer brings out through this story. And if you are interested to read, to know the classical literature, I recommend you to read the book Les Miserables written by Victor Hugo. It's about Jean Valjean. One of the famous quotations from the book is, those who do not weep, do not see. This is the situation of the miserable children in the story, Lost to Spring. Whether they are the rag pickers or the bangle makers, those who do not weep, they can't see it. Only those who experience such life, they only can understand it. So this classical novel of the 19th century, Victor Hugo's Les Miserables, it's a French novel and its real title is La Mirable, which means Les Miserables, the story of Jean Valjean, a man, a young man who stole a loaf of bread to feed his sister's children and he was caught hold and put in to jail. He was imprisoned for five years but he couldn't stay there because he appealed to the judge. He did no crime. He simply took away a loaf of bread to feed his sister's children. But the court adjudged five years imprisonment for him. But he couldn't. He tried to escape from the prison for three times. All those three times he was caught back and the period of imprisonment was increased up to 19 years. So after that, when he released from the jail, he went to visit a priest 
and the priest knew him well that he was an unrest a thief but he gave him shelter and gave him food and let him sleep in his own house but the next day in the morning they found that the man was not there he went away from there with a packet of silver wares that they kept in the almira but after a few minutes as the story progresses jinwal jin was caught by the police and brought back to this priest house that is the surprise and what happened next that made this story world famous the priest supported jinwal jin and told the police officials there that he had gifted those things to him and he forgot to take away the silver candlesticks and after that he gave the candlesticks also to jinwal jin and that turned jinwal jin's life he promised the priest that he would do only good in his life in his later life that is the story of less miserables written by victor hugo so if you are interested to read you can read this novel victor hugo's less miserables or you can watch at least you can watch the film on less miserables come back to the story the theme of lost spring is the plight of street children plight here means the fate the miserable fate of street children they are forced into labor early in life and denied the opportunity of schooling this is the fact especially with the indian situation even today couldn't get a chance to go to school and learn their lessons this naked truth the writer brings out through the story lost spring so that is the central theme of the story lost spring the plight of street children they are forced into labor early in life and denied the opportunity of schooling the contrast here is the constitution of india promises free and compulsory education for children up to the age of 17 but where it is taken place that is the question the story arises before the reader now let us move on to the sub theme of the story the callousness of the society and the political class to the sufferings of the poor callousness here means indifference taking no attention taking no care the callousness of society and the political class to the sufferings of the poor they are exploited the exploited poor can be seen in all parts of our country and our society the well being society people and the politicians they are actually doing zero to uplift these sufferings of the poor people they show indifference not only the politicians but the well being people of the society they show indifference towards the sufferings of the poor so we have to cultivate a mentality to support at least those people suffering around us so we have to show at least certain consideration 
towards these people who are suffering around us then only we can uplift this society so that is the sub theme of the story the lost spring now let us move on to certain other factual things factual understanding and responding with the sensitivity what are the facts that see around whether we are able to observe those facts that happening in our surroundings and how sensitive we responding to those facts we have to cultivate that sensitivity the things that are happening around us we have to think socio economic issues and take off from the text we take off from the text it's a launching pad the story is simply a launching pad to come to know about the socio economic issues of our people and our society whether all the people are living in the same comfort level we have to think so this story is a launching pad to think about the socio economic problems barriers and hierarchical order that existing in our society all born as humans but in different phases of their life different hierarchical system we can see still in our society we have to abolish it we have to maintain a common and balanced society that is what the story wants from us we have to keep certain balances in our thinking process especially the hierarchical system that existing in our society we have to put them down they have to we have to level it up then only as a society as a country we can progress that's why this lesson is included in your course children should create social awareness so you can make a discussion or you can write an essay on the dreams of the poor and the reality all humans have some kind of dream to become something like that and to live like that and upgrade their standard of life and what is the reality what are the obstacles what are the barriers in front of such poor people we have to think about it next is problems of child labor this also can be seen like the protagonist of the story the hero of the story that sahibi alam he works in a tea stall even though he is paid 800 rupees and three times meal the carefree look the no worry look from his face is left he because he is no longer his own master he is a child laborer so such problems we have to discuss when we take about the dream of the poor and the reality think about the thought of mukesh it is appreciable he started thinking out of the box but can he fulfill his dream that's the question he can if he he can if he does hard work and with the set goals because without a dreams no one can achieve anything in life and this boy mukesh he can because his dream is practical that's why when the writer asks him whether he wants to become a pilot he says no because he knows very well that that is unachievable at this stage of his life what is achievable he 
tries to get for that. So his determination that we can support his dream that may come true because he is a sign of change for his entire community. So as a society, we don't want to be the vicious circle. We should provide a certain help for these people to uplift. Then the last extra material is observation of the paradoxes in the society we live in. So many paradoxes, self-contradictory things that we can see in our society. Like the bangle makers, they make beautiful colorful bangles but their life is not colorful. So that's a paradoxical life they are leading. Like that to so many places in our society we can see people living in abject poverty. So find out that paradoxical life from the society. Now let us discuss certain prominent questions from this lesson. 